Right, good afternoon everybody, welcome back to the channel. Now, in this video, this is going to be the start of an amazing series. Now, if you can't see, I'm currently sitting in a car. And if you can guess what it is, comment below. But yeah, just in case you can't tell, it's a Citroen C5X7. Now, I got this car for £550. So yeah, in this video, I'm going to give you a walk around, tell you some things I like, some things I don't like, and we're going to discuss what needs work. Okay, so starting off at the front, it's overall pretty decent to be fair there's a little scruff by here where it looks like the owners maybe scratched something before as you can see but that should be a pretty easy fix um you know it, it actually has gone pretty deep by there thinking about it but again that should be a nice easy fix with a nice bit of polish walking around the car tires the alloys they're a little bit dinged up as you can imagine for a 17 year old car um, this is 2009 by the way but again pretty pretty good shape moving along now down the side of the car again it all looks pretty good there's a few scratches there somehow but again hopefully I can get them off and you know make that look new I thought this was a scratch originally but it just comes off so luckily it wasn't I'm moving down there's a few scratches by here. I'm not sure if the camera's picking up because it's extremely sunny, but there's a few scratches there and by here. But again, tea cut and a bit of polish should get that up nicely. And then moving towards the rear end, again, alloys. You know, they've seen better days, but I'm going to be um, refurbishing these anyway. Uh, and I've just noticed it's got discs and pads in the back as well. I thought it had run brakes, but it doesn't have discs and pads, so that is really really good moving along again i didn't notice all this when i brought i'm not gonna lie lots and lots of little scratches don't know where the hell the owner before me brought this but again it, the, you know they're so light they'll be coming up pretty nicely uh moving on to the back of the car it's just a normal car um you know needs new wipers other than that it's pretty good lots and lots of scratches if you can see here what in the hell he was doing <laughs> what he must have had a dog or something i don't know but that is ridiculous that is insane and there's another scratch mark here as you can see about the size of my hand all the way down and then moving along now to the passenger side um unfortunately there's a little ding here a little dent um not sure if i can get that out but i will definitely try my best um some more by here which i probably should have looked at before but again they're all cosmetic i can probably get the most of this done and looking nice again um and other than that you know it's pretty pretty good now as you can see there's no wipers on here the previous owner as you can see he hasn't put it back on properly has taken the wiper motors out because they're on intermittent um so he said that he tried to look at it but he wasn't too sure it was above his knowledge level so in a pre in the next video or a couple of videos i'm going to be taking them apart just basically seeing if there's an issue that i can fix um myself without having to buy new parts if not i'll have to buy some new two unfortunately new wiper motors will need to be brought for this if i can't fix it um Passenger side and driver's side window regulators are no longer working. He's taken them out as well, which again I wasn't extremely over the moon about, but he's taken them out and the motors are in the boot um, and the bolts are in the driver's side door. Um, other than that, it's pretty, pretty bog standard. Yeah, we've got our work cut out for us, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, the interior looks pretty good. There's no holes, but as you can see again, the previous owner left it in a nice little <laughs> a nice little thing for us so that'll be another job for me to do as you can see it's got 114k miles and unfortunately it's got no service history which is a downside but again because i'm doing all the jobs and i'm going to be documenting them on this channel when i do go to sell it hopefully that will then go in my favor because even though it's got no service history everything would have been done and documented if that makes sense like the two driver's side window regulators they're going to be fixed documented um if i'm not able to fix the motors they'll be brought and i will also be installing them on this channel um 
I'm going to inspect the cam belt when I get a chance because, again, it's got no history. I'm not sure when it was last changed or if it ever has been changed. So I'm going to have to inspect that, check the teeth on that and see and decide if I want to change that or not. Um, another issue is it's got a power steering seepage. Um, it's only a small seepage from the advisories, um, but it's still a seepage. So ideally, I'd like to get that in the bed now while it's small, get it sorted. Um, and it's also got a wheel bearing noise now. I spoke to the owner and he basically didn't diagnose where it was coming from. He said it was the front, but he wasn't sure whether it was a passenger or driver's. So I'll have to do that. So overall, the issues are driver and passenger side window regulator, driver and passenger side wiper motor, uh, potential cam belt. It's got a power steering seepage. And I also would like to give it a full service and obviously a good detail inside and out. Try and get as much of those scratches out as I can because when I do go to sell it, I'd like to get as much money as I can. Uh, again, I spent 550 on it. Obviously, when I, you know, add up all the parts, it's all going to come, I'm guessing, one two, maybe one four. Um, and I, essentially, I would like to get maybe one eight two. That's what they're selling for now. Um, but obviously, with the no service history, that's going to go against me. So as long as I can make a little bit of profit or even just break even, I'm happy with that. So guys, make sure to subscribe if you haven't already, and stay tuned over the next couple of months for this car project. And yeah, comment below what you want to see on it.